What's going on, everybody, and welcome to the ranged weapon tier list for our girl Waystalker, Fermatide 2 edition. Um, so starting off in C tier, I've got the Swift Bow. Now I won't say that the Swift Bow is like complete garbage. A lot of people will say that it's not really garbage. People, I think, just use it kind of irresponsibly, uh, if that makes sense. Uh, on Waystalker, you have a hundred arrows with this weapon. So a lot of people will look at that and they'll be like, oh, I can just non-stop spam it. And, you know, with her ult, when she kills an elite, she gets ammo back, so it's like they kind of never run out of ammo. As a result, her teammates take a lot of friendly fire, so people find this weapon to be somewhat annoying. Most of y'all are kind of irresponsible using this. Let's, let's be honest. You are. You just are. If you use the swift bow, you're going to shoot your team. It's just going to happen. Just a fact of life. Let's just accept it and move on. Okay, so now we know it can be spammed for hordes, it can also be spammed for monsters. I would say this works best with serrated shots, as if you have a hunter, um, you can kind of, you know, if you get the crit, you can proc that, and you'll actually do a, a lot more bleed damage. So spamming that for monsters is actually kind of nice, it's not too bad. But I really like the charge shots in this weapon, because they allow for accuracy on the move, right? If you're trying to move around and shoot, you can kind of just hold that charge uh, shot back, dodge one way, shoot, move around, you know. You have some options there. It's it's a little bit more fun to me personally than just kind of standing still or maybe moving a little bit and just spamming into a horde. I tend to just melee hordes uh, to get temp health. And also, I think it's a little bit more fun to melee a horde. But yeah, I mean, you, you, you can spam it. I guess you can. I just prefer not to. I think it's much better. Uh, charging charging shots on the move, as they say. Uh, some bad things about this weapon, it does struggle against armor. Uh, you pretty much have to use charge attacks against armor. Um, if you do a light attack against an ar armored enemy and uh, it's not a headshot, that thing is going to do zero damage. Now, if you have serrated shots on, it's going to do that little bit of bleed damage, but your initial arrow, your <laughs> impact of that is going to do nothing. So keep that in mind when you're using this bow. That's pretty much it for this weapon. Um, it's very controversial. <laughs> Lots of people hate it. Some people really love it. I honestly think it's not that bad, but for practical purposes, I've got it in C tier. Bumping up to B tier, I've actually got nothing. He's only got three uh, arrows, bows, whatever you want to call them. And uh, I don't really feel like anything's just plain old you know, B tier for her. So we're going to skip that one and elevate up to A tier. I've actually got the Hagbane. The Hagbane's kind of similar to the Swift Bow in the fact that it has some friendly fire issues um, and it's a similar shot style. A lot of people find this one to be annoying because it does a, a, a damage over time effect in a little cloud area. And if you hit your team with that, it can be uh, a problem. A lot of people make what I consider to be uh, the mistake of shooting this weapon into hordes. Um, I don't really use it that way. Again, like the swift bow, I kind of use the charge attacks, and I just use them on elites like storm vermin, maulers, even chaos warriors, you know, things like that. I run barrage on this weapon. I usually run um, either power versus armor and power versus skaven, or power versus armor and power versus monsters, in case I want to spam it for that. You can definitely spam it for a monster. You'll do a, a lot of damage that way. Um, but I think if you run either of those with Barrage, I mean, Hunter would work fine as well. Like If you run Barrage, I believe it's two charge attacks on a Storm Vermin uh, will kill it, which is why I really like the talent of Bloodshots, which is when she melees any kind of enemy, she gets to fire an additional arrow. So you can just kill a little clan rat, and then you can... Rear back your bow, shoot that storm vermin that's a little off in the distance with one ammo consumption, mind you, but firing two hagman arrows, that thing dies. It's a good way to save ammo because this thing does only have 34 total arrows on Waystalker who gets extra ammo. So it's, it's a pretty good way to use it like that. I just use it for elites and monsters pretty much. Um, you know, really, if you use any of these two weapons for hordes, you're kind of doing something that's a bit unnecessary and can also be kind of annoying for your team. So, you know, it's just, it's good to think of other people, you know, when you're playing with other people. If you're a solo and you're playing with bots, like, it doesn't really matter. 
But like, if you're playing with other people, best try to just try to not shoot them. You know, it's just it's just a nice way to play. Up in S tier, I've got the longbow. The longbow is a classic. My favorite bow for her. She's got 40 total arrows with this. Um, this weapon is the only one with a, a built-in, like a natural zoom function. I should mention that Carillion's class ability has a uh, special. If you if you um, push the whatever key you have binded for your weapon special, it actually has a little extra zoom function, so you can technically zoom in with all of these weapons. But with the longbow, you get a little extra zoom. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure that you need it all that much, but uh, it is there. It does exist. Um, this weapon is really good with hunter and conservative shooter because it gets easy headshots. Um, I don't know that it has a, a tremendous amount of crit chance or anything for hunter, but for conservative shooter, like I said, easy headshots. You consume no ammunition that way. It's also got armor piercing just naturally built into it, so it's pretty good for uh, elites like that. If you kind of if you're able to get headshots, you know you can one shot shoot them in, in uh, the head, obviously with uh, one arrow and kill them. Uh, that's pretty nice. I think it's this weapon's probably just a little bit, just a a bit more practical than the Hagbane. I think it's a lot more practical than the Swift Bow, personally. Um, but it's just a really nice bow. You you can't you don't have quite as much mobility as you would have potentially with the swift bow and the hagbane. You kind of have to. It's easier just to stand still to get the headshot. I mean, you can kind of like move to the left a little bit and shoot, or move to the right a little bit and shoot. And you can do that, but it's easier just to stand still. You're the most accurate when you're standing still. Um, but you know, this is a solid bow. I think it's her best bow, and that's really my list, guys. S tier, I've got the longbow. A tier, I've got the hagbane. B tier, I've got absolutely nothing. And then down in the C tier, I've got the swift bow. Let me know what you guys think about this list. What you would change, uh, what you wouldn't, what you think. Uh, I'd love to hear about it. Ciao.